take a look at the post-game stats here as the final score 83-48 and the Golden Grizzlies come in here tonight and shoot 46.3% from the field, 11 for 25 from three-point range, 44%. Canisius struggled all night offensively, shooting just 27% from the field. Canisius goes just four of 23 from behind the arc. Rebounds in favor of the Golden Griffins by a 48-41 count. Ten of those boards belonging to Anna Sweeney. And you take a look at the Pepsi player of the game here this evening. Yeah, Shakia Graves, we just talked with uh, Coach Tungate about her, and she was good on the offensive end with 20 points, six rebounds, four assists to lead the way for an Oakland team, but very impressed with her defense, and I think overall his defense was pretty good. Yeah, they had a really good night defensively, and like you said, you know, he, he mentioned to you they did not want to let the Griff shoot threes. They did not give them any good looks early. Uh, it kind of set the tone. They knocked down those threes early on. And they get out of here with a win, and they will head on uh, head on back to Michigan, and I believe they will go back home to play Central Michigan on Sunday. I mean, from the start, we weren't ready to play and never really got ready to play. They just went right at us. We didn't play any defense, didn't communicate. There wasn't a thing we did for 40 minutes that was right. That's basically what it was. We just not ready to go, and I don't know why. Uh, we chatted a little bit downstairs. they got to figure out why because – you can't play college basketball that way, for sure. Was there anything that they put at you that you weren't expecting, or is it just? Nope. Not until the very end. They played the one three one, the very very end. But whatever, it was it was academic at that point. So yeah, other than that, we saw everything. Everything they did, we saw. Um, we just not ready to go and soft, soft, soft. Just got dominated. Mm -hmm. Got absolutely dominated. And then. Uh, I wouldn't say foul, was foul trouble kind of a, another no. thing early, or is no. it just? No foul trouble. I mean, that, sorry, I got to get my glasses to see it, but <laughs> no. I mean, there's no foul trouble. We're, just, we're playing terrible basketball. We played terrible basketball. We didn't compete. Like, it doesn't matter what goes on. You have to compete. Like, we start out, she banks in a three to start the game, and then we don't play defense for the next Basically the whole game. I mean, I th maybe we had some stretches there in the second part of the third quarter where we started to compete a little bit harder, right? We, we got up and tried to tried to play for some small se sequences. But other than that, we didn't compete for 40 minutes. Just let them do whatever they wanted. Took the ball from us. Looked like a, uh, a high school team playing against a modified team. That's what it looked like. Was there a message that you were trying to send at the end when there was like two minutes left and you make that whole sale yeah, change? Yeah, because for the hundredth time of the night, we're not matched up in transition and they're getting an open shot. Like, we're talking about it, talking about it. Okay, you know what? Then everybody come and sit down, right? It's the same, it was the same thing. You just sat there and watched the group in front do it. Well, then you went in and did it. So, we're, you know, we're going to come out. Come out and sit down. What are you hoping to see going forward to change with the schedule not getting any easier with oh, the looming next week? Yeah, schedule's not going to get any easier at all. Um, I'd like to see us start to compete. Right? Like, I don't know. I don't understand why. I don't know if, if we're afraid. I don't, I don't know what it is, but we're, we're not competing. Like, we're just not competing. We start games trying to see, oh, how's this going to go? Hmm, that's not sports. you got to go out and get it. you got to go out and get it. Oakland defeats Canisius here 83-48. Let's send it to Jay Moran, who is with the winning coach from the Oakland Grizzlies. And we're here with uh, Jeff Tungate. And uh, coach, uh, a lot went right for your team, especially in that first half. You guys jumped out to an early lead. But as impressive as your offense was hitting those three quick threes, your defense really seemed to know exactly what Canisius was going to do. Can you maybe talk about your, your approach? Well, you know, we wanted to take away their three-point shooting. That was a point of emphasis, and, and they could put the ball on the floor. I thought, you know, with our athleticism, we could cause them some problems around the basket. We really wanted to close out long, make them put the ball on the floor. But, you know, to be honest with you, I mean, they missed some, just missed some shots early. We made some, they missed some, and we were able to jump out to a big lead. But, you know, give them credit. They never quit. They came back second half and, and ran some great stuff and really hurt us on their slips and things to the basket. So, you know, we got a lot to work on. You got to give them a lot of credit for what they did in the second half. And, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be a good team. Terry does a great job. And, you know, I was, I was pleased in the first half with, with how we played, but, you know, we, we didn't answer the bell in the second half, and they did. You know, you look at your schedule, you had Michigan, Michigan State, Northwestern, and, and, you know, you look at that initially, and you wonder how a team is going to come out of that kind of competition. 
you know, you could, I mean, if Kinesis has gone on the road and played those types of teams and lost by 40, 50 points, you guys seem like you had more competitive scores. But talk about that experience and maybe, you know, what you got out of those games. Well, you know, we want to be exposed early. You know, we want to be exposed as early as we can. You know, we have a saying in our program that, you know, how we handle adversity is going to be the key to our success. So we want to face as much adversity as we can early on in the season. And, you know, we want to schedule those schools so we can learn from that adversity. We want to schedule a school like this so they can run that grid offense and slips and things like that because we want to be exposed in the beginning of the season so we can fix it before January gets here or end of December for conference play.